Hello guys, welcome back to Beyond the Realms. I figured I'd do a quick little update video here and inform you on some of the stuff that's going to be coming up on my channel in the very near future. But first off, I have to give a shout out to a new channel that's out there that you guys have to check out. You guys have to go and support this lady. She is a huge horror fan. She is really knowledgeable on the horror genre. She's fun. And her name is Madam Carnage. And um, I'm not sure if she wants to use her real name at all or not, so I'll just say Madam Carnage, what she's going as on here on YouTube. But anyway, I've known Madam for a little while now. Um, very cool woman. Uh, like I said, she loves the horror genre. She just started out here on YouTube. She only has two videos up, an introductory video and a video for the independent film called um, Creek Truck, um, which sounds really awesome. Um, but guys, she's just starting out check her out show her some love um, okay now next off one of the things I want to talk about is some of the links of my reviews I know I can tend to ramble which I'm probably gonna do quite a bit in this update <laughs> but you know I, I just figure I'm gonna start trying my best to do shorter reviews because you know I, I watch a lot of longer reviews on here from a lot of people and if it's engaging, I don't mind watching them. But at the same time, I realize not everybody, you know, wants to watch a 10 to 15 minute review, long review, which I tend to do a lot of times. So I'm going to purposely try to cut back my review length, try not to ramble so much, try to get more to the point <clears throat> and kind of just, you know, hit more on just the topics quickly, you know, just not ramble on and on about them like I'm doing right now. Um, but instead of, you know, like 10 to 15 minute range, I'm going to try to cut my reviews back to doing like five to seven minute reviews. Now that's not to say there won't be a review of something that I will do that'll take a lot longer. I mean, because if there's a film that comes out that I'm really passionate about or I really love that I want to talk about, I'll probably have a lot more to say, but I'm just going to try to overall cut back on them a little bit, <clears throat> make them a little bit shorter. Um... So did you guys happen to see the little Hitchcock trailer threw together? Um, if not, uh, I am going to be doing a Hitchcock takeover here on Beyond the Realms in January. I've been watching many of his films, and um, I'm going to do a whole shitload of Alfred Hitchcock reviews. But I just want to say right up front, um, just because I'm doing this on Jan in January it does not mean that is the only thing I'm going to post is Alfred Hitchcock reviews. Uh, many of these I'm going to film in advance. I've actually already started filming. I have about three already filmed. I want to have a lot of them already filmed um, come, come January so that way I can just you know post them whenever you know I feel like it. Um, but I am also going to do other movie reviews in the meantime and in between. Um, you know, if there's something new that I see or I have actually have an independent film coming in the mail, I actually have uh, the Collective Volume 5, which I apologize to Jab, I've not got to yet. So I will have other reviews in between all these Hitchcock films. Um, <clears throat> you know, and, and I realize, you know, a lot of the, you know, it seems like Hitchcock films are kind of like lost films in a way. Um, it just really does like I mean outside of like film aficionados and really hardcore fans it seems like most people or older people um, it seems like most movie going public and, and movie watchers don't watch a lot of Hitchcock films and I think that that's a shame that's, that's one of the main reasons why <clears throat> I want to do this series um, I expect most of these reviews to get low views not a lot of people to watch them, but that's not the point. That's never the point of any of my videos. My main point with doing this is, you know, if I can get just a couple people to check out a few of these films, I feel like I've succeeded because, honestly, guys, you know, up until this point, I had only seen Psycho and The Birds. I don't even really count The Birds because I've only seen it as a kid. I was too young to appreciate the film. You know, only the bird part is what I couldn't wait for, you know. Um, but up until just uh, Black Friday, actually, I had only seen Psycho, and then I blind bought the film, which I am actually watching right now, once again, Vertigo, which I already reviewed. Um, but I blind bought this off of some recommendations and some things that I heard. Shit, let's try to get this back right here. And um, 
ever since I watched this film, I have just been enthralled by Hitchcock films. Just totally amazed. This film blew me away so much that I had to seek out more films. And now I've seen ten of them already. And most of them came off of this set. But I've also... Um, I have also rented quite a few that I will be reviewing, but um, the majority of the reviews are going to come from that set, but also I have uh, Alfred Hitchcock, the Masterpiece Collection on Blu-ray coming in the mail from the UK. Um, that I will That's where a lot of the big reviews will be coming from also. And um, actually to start this series off, I'm going to kick it off right on January 1st. Um, showing that box set. That's going to be the very first video that I show. I'm going to be going over the entire box set, showing you it thoroughly all the way through, you know, every page, every movie that's in it. Um, kind of like an unboxing um, reveal type video. Um, but there is a reason why I bought the UK version over the US version, and I will discuss that when we get to that video. Um, but I, there's been actually a few people that's asked me. Um, in the trailer, I did not show Psycho coming up for review. Well, that's because I have already done a Blu-ray review of that in the past. I believe it's still here on my page. I'll, I, if it is, I'll put the link down below also. Um, so, like, Vertigo and Psycho are two huge Hitchcock films that I've already viewed, but his, his catalog is so vast that I just can't wait to really get into this series. Um, so, basically, like I said, it won't be all Hitchcock films all month. I'll have other reviews spliced in between whenever stuff comes up. Um, you know, and that's my whole point in doing all of these, you know, filming them all in advance. So that way I just, I have them right there. I can post one one day and the next day and the next day if I want. And then for something else new I'll watch, I can just throw it in between there. Um, so basically how I'm going to end it off is, you know, like... Like I said, all of these are my first time watching it, so it's kind of, you know, this is a unique situation. I'm I, I'm not a Hitchcock scholar. I don't know a lot about Hitchcock at all. I'm learning all this stuff. But as I'm learning this and as I'm going along, I want to pass it on to you guys and tell you guys about it and hopefully get you to watch some of this stuff. And at the end of this series, what I plan on doing is doing one last final video um, of my top 10 favorite Hitchcock films after I go through all these. And I, I think in the end, I'm probably end up going to have, end up having like 20 to 30 reviews I'm doing. So to some, you know, you may think that is overkill, but I mean, Hitchcock is considered a master for a reason. I am seeing that every film I've seen so far is at least really good. But most of them are great. Out of that ten, I would say more than half of them have been great. But all of them are at least very good. I mean, I, I even like a film that's considered his worst one, which I won't mention what the title is yet, but the one that's considered his worst film, I even enjoyed it. And I, and I actually think it's pretty underrated and don't see why people think it's... I guess, you know, maybe they don't think it's a bad film. I don't know. So, anyway, guys... Um, that's pretty much it for this update. I know I've rambled on when I just said I'm going to get away from it, but I'm just trying to cram a lot onto this little update here, and, and hopefully you guys like it. So, um, I will be seeing you soon. Actually, my next review will be on this Friday. I have a very special end-of-the-world review coming up. So, I will see you guys on Friday. Later.